have to ask why electricians? What what why, what makes you know, the decisions we bring electricians to pay our mortgages? Okay, as uh, probably um, some of you. Uh, know the history of Rayami watches. We are in the market, especially for Malaysia, already been almost uh, closing to 10 years now. Um, at the beginnings of the starting of the company, we always make sure the uh, portfolio of our brands has to be something different, has to be something unique as well. You know, we don't want to be uh, following what we call it a uh, mainstream. So, the selection of the brands that we're going to be present in our outlet, in our shop, has to be something something really unique. I think uh, for this moment, uh, working together with Lawrence, I think we see the really big potentials that the brands of the electricians will be uh, catching a bigger market. And uh, I believe it's not going to be really easy because uh, in terms of branding, in terms of a brand exercise, we have to do more and I think is uh, from time to time so we still need support from him. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to invite the founder and chief electrician officer, Lauren, to join me for the TMT session. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, there are a lot of questions I would like to ask you. Probably it's like, just uh, don't mind me to answer. Uh, I mean, I'll ask you a few good um, questions, right? Okay, then one, uh, what point in your career did the thought starting your own brand of watches first cross your mind? I've been working in a 25 years in this watch industry because I'm born in Switzerland and uh, so I've been uh, yes working 25 years in this watch industry and I'm born actually in, this, uh, in a place where there was much other things to do. So basically I am... Um, I fold, I felt in the in this industry. So uh, now I've been working for several brands for many years, and uh, I've been having set up my own design agency. Also, uh, after uh, 13 years, I decided to make a new step, and it was the right moment based on the situation. That uh, yeah, I see a lot of challenges, I see a lot of opportunities at the same time to create my own thing. And uh, again, I've been been working for other people for so long. Just decided to exercise when myself sure and, own brand yes, brand. and challenge yourself your ideas. So that's why uh, we decided uh, to uh, to create a, uh, a new brand. Let's say. Okay. What's the process looks like to conceptualize a new brand like electricians? So to create a, a new brand, I think today it's. Uh, I mean, to pretend to create a new brand today, I think you really must come up with something which is really special. Um, because there's too many brands, on my opinion, that uh, they are just useless, just copying the other ones. Mm -hmm. The only thing which makes a difference is the price and where they sell and how they sell and, uh, and the kind of uh, ambassadors they're taking. So I took the, uh, a reverse angle and I decided to create a unique storytelling. And that's why that was the first move. If you want to do your own brand, pretend to come up with a new brand, you need to create a new path. And that's why uh, it was important to have a very complete, unique storytelling. And that's why we, we decided to use the electricity and the electrical world, which actually is based on technology, it's based on vintage, it based to it's it's the base of our life. It's the base of every minutes today we using light. Without light, without electricity, we can't do anything. That's why the idea was quite obvious to use uh, the electricity as a word, as a design DNA, and actually to give a future to the brand that we can develop so many things. It was so clear we're going to create the electrician space. Um, could you tell us that the one the obstacles that you came across to them while creating the brand? Why creating a brand? The obstacles. You know? The challenges. Again, being in a service business, uh, serving other customers, which sometimes you get frustrated that uh, they don't listen or at least they don't understand what you're trying to do or to, to, to tell them to do, that at some point you need to do it yourself. Otherwise, you keep complaining and blaming and blaming yourself and you're going nowhere. So I think it was the right time to really do your own thing and just try and prove yourself that uh, somehow you are not too wrong and also uh, just also to just moving ahead with new challenges in life and especially in this industry which we know it's, uh, it's really challenged uh, by Very so challenged. many things today. Yes. Okay. 
So, uh, I guess this question is everyone would like to ask you. How did the concept of electricity and the name the electrician come about? Yes. Yeah, there are so many names in there. Why electrician? No, again, uh, um, using an electrical module, because now I'll talk a little bit more about the product itself. Uh, if the, the, the brand name is, is obviously related to its universe and with its port pro product portfolio we're going to develop. But it's also linked obviously to the, to the engine which is inside, which we, we, we're going to make, uh, we are making um, electrical complication. The big watchmakers, the simple watchmakers making mechanical complication, the good designers making a visual complication. The electricians, we're going to make electrical complication or luminous complication. So again, a unique word, a unique brand name which corresponds to its territory and to its universe, which is electricity. Making a watch which is out of electricity, having its own module, an electrical module, everything just makes sense. That's why I was saying, pretend to create a brand has to stand out for something and must be different and uh, must have the potentials to grow. And I think electrician is the unique, the only brand who actually try to be called electricians or use electricity because at the end I don't think uh, nobody dreams to be an electrician in, the, in his life even so the job is a good job but uh, being an electrician yeah that's why the electrician is very different because there is so many other meanings uh, that's gonna come and it's gonna be seen so ladies and gentlemen be different and be unique, right? You know. So, ladies and gentlemen, like you know, today we have four watches. Could you tell a little bit, you know, four designs that we actually exhibit today? So today, yes, uh, the first four watch we started, uh, we decided is really to introduce a single big battery, uh, which obviously probably uh, like we, we just like you know, it is one by one, so easy. Yes. yes. So basically, the single battery. The idea again is, uh, to, in terms of design, the idea is to bring back to our childhood. It means when we were a child, we were really curious on how the things are working. And uh, basically, what uh, what we want to do here is again, we live in a, in a cloud world where we our life is based in a pocket. I mean, in our cell phone, everything is in our pocket. But here, what we want to show is uh, how it works, basically, is, uh, again, uh, to bring back to the basics. So that means we have a source of energy. Today, we have a big, uh, the biggest battery in the market. So we have a battery, which then you have a cable, which conveys the electricity, and then you, have, you are displaying something. So that's, again, the basic of the electricity, is, you know how it works, source of energy, cable which convey the electricity and it's displaying or functioning something. So that's why the design is obvious, simple, but it confirms again the, what is the concept behind it. Okay, thank you. So the, this is now the dress code. We call it the most classical, most dressy, most elegant watch we have in the collection of Starkey. Uh, that's uh, the dress code. The dress code, now we have the second one. The second one is the Mokas. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the favorite uh, watch so far uh, in the world where we have been selling so far. So the Mokas basically is the same design identity. We just change the ingredients to bring it to more steampunk uh, environment and to bring a bit more uh, this warm, elegant uh, colors, uh, which is actually, actually very trendy. So. So that's the, the mochas. And what I forget to say before is we have, uh, within the brand, we have uh, three different segments where uh, each watch is supposed to have a space. Uh, we have a lifestyle, we have the night and the clubbing life, and we have the art. So basically, the first uh, two watches which I just presented now are more into the lifestyle world, which is more for classical or for people who like watches, who they're, they're really associated to nice brands, nice products. Uh, this is why we call it the electric code uh, range. Uh, on the third one here we have is, uh, we call it electric art collection. So what we're going to do with the electric art collection or category is we're going to co-brand either with artists from the street art, 
from the uh, any kind of contemporary art or the graffiti again or this, uh, this kind of things. Uh, right now, the, the first one we did it is the ammeter. The ammeter is, for those who know, obviously, that's the electrical tool to measure the electricity. So it's not uh, a yellow watch because we thought it's going to be sellable. It's just because it's the tool for the electrician. So that's why the first electric art col uh, uh, collection is the ammeter. And it's yellow, black, and red because that's the tool, again, to be uh, coherent with uh, the print concept. The last one we just came last week is actually the blackout. Uh, the blackout is uh, actually his main uh, USP uh, is the uh, ceramic, uh, the ceramic uh, the carbon fiber uh, injected case, uh, which uh, gives this unique touch, unique look. That's why this watch again is completely black but completely aged, and uh, is uh, is really uh, one of our nicest uh, thing we have uh, brought so far and uh, of course what I forget to say is in the, in the evening obviously this is a small tool for the electrician I think without having the light we would have been not been serious uh, to be called the electrician without having the light uh, at night. Huh? I really want to precise one thing out of this collection in general. Um, people talk about mechanical or mechanical or mechanical. The rest does not exist. I uh, just want to say that uh, the electricians, again, we talk about electricity, and that's why we develop our own electrical module inside. And again, we're going to push for the electrical complication, luminous complication, and it's true, it is based inside, just the, 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 the movement who drives the, the hands now is made of parts. But again, inside is our own module patented, where it's absolutely an electrical watch, which we are very proud of, and that's why it's not just a common or people would say it's just going to be a quartz watch. That's very important to, uh, to say. And in future, we're going to see again how we're going to do develop others, uh, luminous navigation for the night, for the clubbing, for the arts. There's a lot of things going to come up which we will definitely forget forever. That is just the quartz, maybe, for some people. You know? The four watches in the four design. Which one is your person, personal favorite? Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Oh, indeed, it's <laughs> difficult. Huh? No, I would say easily that's the Mokaz because that represents pretty well uh, what I am. Okay. It's, a, it's a very elegant, uh, modern, fresh, and a very high perceived value watch, and I think it's very distinctive. So I think the Mokaz would be the one which I'd say. Is my favorite, but obviously I'm also wearing the ammeter because I realize also that having a cool, funky color, uh, it's quite cool. Uh, that's why I'm learning, and that's why we're gonna develop much more colors than that. Mm -hmm. But no, let's say to make it simple, the mocha is, uh, is my favorite. Good. So at least you answer the questions honestly. Mm -hmm. So which are the celebrities that you would like to see? You know that they were gonna wear an electric watch. Wow. Yeah. Which celebrity that you like to see? Well, it depends the celebrity which I think will have the values of the brand or just somebody that I like, he would wear the watch. I would say maybe David Guetta, mm -hmm. uh, the DJ, okay. where I think he would be a great ambassador to see uh, somebody mature, somebody has stayed, somebody has uh, successful, somebody who takes risk and uh, that uh, I think he would appreciate and he would be a good uh, ambassador. Okay. So uh, I guess you have already you know, rolled out your 2018 plans. Could you just share this, like, you know, what's your plans in 2018? So uh, as I said, the categories, we, we're going to be, again, much more into, uh, I mean, as a new brand, it's a bit difficult to understand where we're going to be, how it's going to look like in a few months, time. but uh, that's why I will try my best to, again, to repeat it. Um, lifestyle. Nightlife and art, that's the three categories. So today we see more the lifestyle execution okay. and definitely into clubbing and into light, uh, night and into art, you will see much more things coming out. Mm -hmm. So that means there will be light, there will be communication, there will be uh, colors, there will be surprise in terms of, uh, of painting, of finger painting. Mm -hmm. There will be a lot of very cool things coming up mm -hmm. where we, we will try to open our customer range as large as we can 
uh, to actually uh, really have a product for a lot of people again for, for that price that brand deserve a lot of uh, different execution and we believe we have the right thing for 2018.